talk a bit. I kind of feel like this is dumb that I even have to like bring this up or that this is even a topic on my channel. I'm almost 30 years old and I make my own money, which I'm very grateful for the audience that I have because you guys make it to where I have a roof over my head. That goes for all sort of entertainers. I do consider myself an entertainer online because I'm literally entertaining people for whatever reasons it is, I am entertaining you in some way, some, somehow. Whether it's an author, an actress, um, a dancer, like our audience is what makes us be able to have an income. And I'm really, really grateful. What I do with my money is then up to me. I am not saying this stuff in a condescending way. I'm just trying to have a adult to adult conversation that what a stranger does with their money or even a family member or a friend does with their money is up to only them. You guys see that I post a lot of hauls. I am vlogging almost every single day, posting Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So you guys are seeing those hauls. And a lot of people are like, you're spending your money. All you do is spend money. You probably have no money. You're probably in debt. No, I'm not. I make sure that I have a budget that I follow every single month. I'm very particular about how much money I spend on certain things. Bills and important things like that, responsibilities, always come first. And then I have a section of money that I save. I have a section of money that I do donate, whether that's to friends, family, charities, doesn't matter. I always donate every single month. Then I have a section of money that is like emergency that I just don't touch. Then there's a section of money that's just kind of there. There's a section of money that I allow myself to spend on frivolous crap because it's my money and I make that money. You know, one day I will die and that money ain't coming with me. I believe that no matter what you do for income, as long as you're not hurting anyone or whatever, whatever you do for your job, you're not just making money to pay bills. You're not just living life to pay bills. You know, whether I spend $80 on four pairs of earrings or I spend the $80 on a room for a hotel or I spend the $80 on a purse, like that's, that's no one's concern or business but mine. I am very, very responsible with my money and I know to you guys, it doesn't seem like it because I post so many hauls. And trust me, if I were you, I'd be watching me or Amberlynn and I'd be like, okay, this girl does not know how to, you know, save money, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, I do. And <laughs> I don't wanna get into numbers because I don't feel like that's appropriate. I just, I wanna stop being judged for how I spend my money because the money that I'm showing you that I'm buying earrings with and like candles, you know, silly things like that, things that I do enjoy and love, there is a set amount of money that I allow myself to do that with. It's not like I'm just out buying, 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 even though it does seem like that. And that's never my intention. I'm not here to brag. I'm just here to share my life and Something I do enjoy doing is shopping. I don't know, I just, I shouldn't have to apologize for it. I shouldn't have to explain myself. Anyways, let's just do a curvy comment because I don't want this like negative energy on my channel, but I mean, we already have that negative energy. If you read the comments, it's pretty bad. I always get really nervous to do a curvy comment, but I always pick the one that I land on. I use commentpicker.com. Today's curvy comment is from Karma's Law. Have I gotten you before? Karma's Law. That sounds so familiar. They said, hypocrisy at its finest. 1508, but it's okay for you to judge people that judge you. That just shows what kind of person you are. 1508, okay, well now I gotta go look because I don't know what they're talking about. Let me go to my YouTube and then I'm gonna go to 1508. Okay, this was in the video, cook with me and new plus size fashion haul. Okay, let's listen. Not a single one of these is a dress, so be proud of me. It is all shirts. I've come to realize Yes, I have lymphedema in my lower abdomen, and if you're going to judge me for that, whether that be in a YouTube video or out in public, 
while I'm wearing a shirt because you can kind of see it. Not like physically see it because my pants are like covering it. But if you're going to judge me for something like that, that just goes to show like the kind of person you are. Not the kind of person I am. You guys. Okay, so are you talking about because I said that just shows what kind of person you are? If you are, I will stand by that point because I do feel like if you're judging someone based on how they look like physically like parts of their body that might be deformed or something in my opinion I feel like my body is deformed due to my weight and lymphedema and everything like that so I feel like if you are judging someone based on that that does goes to show the type of person you are and whether that be me judging them on their moral grounds and just like the sensitivity or the non-sensitivity or the lack of empathy or sympathy that they have within themselves, then okay. I just don't think that anyone should judge anyone based on someone's deformities or something that's wrong with them, whether that be mental illness or physical illness.